What's this? It's daytime and Josh is making a pickup video? Things must be weird. Things must be kind of strange. So I apologize for the weirdness in this video. Um, I meant to film this video last night, but then decided today I was going to go garage sailing. So I figured I would hold off and see what I found. Um, but that's going to be at the end of the video. Because i got to show you what I found this week first. Uh, but uh, my name is Josh and welcome to Game Hunters R Us. This is Gaming Grab 72, I believe. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers. We've got quite a few in the past few old days. So I uh, lost a bunch and gained a bunch more. So... Uh, uh, thanks for checking out the channel, and uh, be sure to say hi down in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Um, so yeah, let's jump into these uh, these pickups. So last week, uh, I tried to go garage selling, didn't find anything. I found one game. Just one. Um, and that game is NBA Jam for the Wii. Um, I'd probably prefer to get this game on the 360, but whatever, Wii is just fine too. Um, actually, Wii is probably even better, because... I played NBA Jam on Super Nintendo, so at least I'm keeping in the Nintendo family. Um, but still cool. Uh, this was three dollars, and I uh, couldn't really complain with that. Uh, in my last pickup video, I, got, I showed you guys the uh, Batman Arkham City Collector's Edition that was available at Giant Tiger for twenty dollars, and I heard through uh, Classic Games Canada that there was another uh, Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition at, G at uh, Giant Tiger as well. Also for $20, so I looked around, I only have three Giant Tigers in uh, in my region, so I went to all of them and didn't find any of them, so, um, well, in my cities, and then I went to the next city over and I found one there for $20, so I found the Collector Edition, here's the game, Mortal Kombat, it's just a regular, uh, regular game, it looks like, uh, but really cool, I do love the series, and this will hold me off until Mortal Kombat X is cheaper. Uh, and it also came with this really, really cool statue. Um, if you want more in-depth on that, you can have a look at uh, Classic Games Canada. He did an unboxing of this, but it looks really cool. And it's just like bookends that come apart, so you can put games in. And it looks like Scorpion's just killing Sub-Zero. So, Which I hate. Sub-Zero's my favorite. And Scorpion gets all the love, and, and no one loves Sub-Zero. So, oh well. Just something I have to do with, I guess. And that was all I found garage sailing on that day. <laughs> Not that even that Mortal Kombat was a garage sale, but um, that was pretty much it. That was uh, my my Saturday last week. Um, during the week, though, I did see some Kijiji deals. Um, I finished school this past week on Monday. I had my last exam, so I am now done. I just have to wait for graduation. So I had some extra time this week to keep my eye on Kijiji and stuff and see what I could find. Um, I found this, which no one cares about, but it is Toad Amiibo um, on Kijiji, used, not used, it was actually brand new. <laughs> uh, but I only spent 10 bucks for him, I know no one cares, so uh, there, it's gone. Um, and then um, the, yeah, PlayStation TV. Uh, someone was selling this brand new for 60 bucks, and uh, which is really, really cool. I'm not going to show you the unit, because it's actually plugged in at my TV. and. It's a little too much work to pull out, but uh, it is pretty cool. I do want to actually stream some uh, Vita games. I don't think a lot of people are doing that, at least not that I know of. So it'd be kind of cool to try that out. Uh, but yeah, 60 bucks brand new. Couldn't pass that up. Um, and then I, that was it. That's all I found for a long time. Uh, yesterday I decided, you know what, I'm going to go out and, uh, and do some more thrifting. It's been really cold lately, so I haven't actually been able to go out very often. Um, mostly because I'm now limited to my motorbike. And um, yeah, it, it's been in the negatives again, negative degrees Celsius. So it's, it's not entirely comfortable to, uh, to ride in. So... Uh, I just realized you guys can see games over here, but you, hopefully you can't see what they are. But those are coming up. Um, so the first place I went out, uh, I looked around, and I found this game at Value Village. It is Wii Sports, another copy of this. I think I showed this in my last video. Um, and that this is a different one, not the same one. But uh, it was $2.99 from Value Village. That's uh, uh, some easy money on, on eBay. Um, and then the best thing was at another value village I found some uh, NES games and or cartridge based games NES and N64 now these prices aren't the steal of the century it's not the deal of the, of the century so um, they're, I pretty much paid what they're worth but I, I looked at it as I'm essentially saving shipping from eBay or anything else so and it's just kind of cool to pick stuff up through stores once in a while so 
The first one is Rollerball on the NES. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, and I spent six bucks on that. You can see the price tag there. The next is Airwolf on the NES. Don't have that either. And that was five bucks. Next one is Wheel of Fortune. Now, I already have a copy of this, but not this. This is a different label ver variant. Or it's a different game entirely, I don't know. I think this, this is their all-new Junior Edition, so I don't know if it's different than the one I have. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool. And that is uh, five bucks as well. And the last one I picked up was Command & Cocker on the N64. A uh, little bit of label damage, not much, but that was also five dollars, so whatever. I do have the N64, so glad to pick it up. Uh, next I decided to go to EB Games, pick up some stuff there, had a look around. Uh, the most boring of the games that I picked up was Universe at War for the 360, and I only picked it up because it was two dollars and sixty-nine cents. You can see right there. Uh, looks pretty cool, it kind of reminds me of like War of the Worlds mixed with like uh, Earth Defense Force with uh, StarCraft. It's kind of all those things mixed together. And published by Sega, so it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, the next one, I've been meaning to pick this up forever and I just never did, and then suddenly I went in and they were not available. I couldn't find them anymore. Uh, but I did find one at this EB that I go to, and it is uh, Metroid Other M. Uh, pick that up. I know it's not the greatest Metroid game, but from what I've seen of the gameplay, it actually doesn't look that bad, but I know they made Sam is kind of a whiny little girl. Uh, but hopefully I'll still enjoy the game. And it was uh, $8.96. Uh, did you know Walmart, at least my Walmart, still has this marked brand new for $80, and they're not coming any, like, they've got stacks of them, but they're just sitting there. But, whatever. They're not selling. Uh, the last two I picked up were uh, Mugen Souls Z. This is a uh, NIS America game. Just decided to try this one out and see how I like it. Um, I don't actually play a whole lot of RPGs. This was brand new for 17 bucks, so I figured I'd try it out. Know nothing about it. And the last one I picked up was Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus for the PS3. This is probably Ben one of Ben's favorite games for the PS3. At, at least in the uh, Ratchet and Clank series, so fair to try it out. And it was uh, $13 and 50 or 49 cents, so uh, pretty happy with those all, all around. Um, but hopefully, I can get around to playing. I need to play more games this summer. That's my plan: is to play games and hopefully stream it. Every time I'm just playing a game, I'll just either stream it on Twitch or I'll stream it on YouTube, just uh, just to kind of hang out with you guys while I'm doing it as well. Uh, let me know if that's something you're interested, though. Like. Some people aren't, some people are, but if you are interested, let me know. I'd be, I'd be interested to see kind of where the popularity of that decision would go. Next, I decided to go out garage sailing today. I was up pretty late last night, and uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it out this morning, but I did. I went out, got out about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, there was a sale not too far away, maybe five minutes away from my house, uh, that said PS2 games, so I figured, you know what the heck, um, I'll go, I'll go swing by. CJR doesn't live that far away from me, so I'm, I just assumed he would have hit that that sale already and, and got everything, but apparently he didn't. So uh, I scored. Uh, the first thing isn't really gaming related, but I did pick it up for uh, my own use, and it is a life-proof case uh, for my iPhone 4. Now these retail for around ninety dollars, and. Um, I've been wanting one anyway because I because I ride a motorbike. I want to be able to protect my phone, especially in the rain. Uh, so this is a, a really nice way to do it. Uh, I only paid uh, ten bucks for that, which I think is a complete steal. So uh, and it's all there. Uh, there's a minor crack in the case, but it shouldn't be a big deal. I've, I sealed it up, and the crack doesn't move, so it sh it shouldn't be a big deal. That and with the added protection of being in my jacket, I don't think it's going to be an issue. But it's just you know added protection for a phone. So, uh, really happy to get that. That's like the best case you can get for your, your any phone in general. So, uh, and then they had some games there. They had some Guitar Hero games for the PS2 and like a World Series poker game. Uh, I, I asked about the bundle deal, but I think I, would, I was thinking to myself, you know, it's just not worth it. But uh, I did pick, pick up three games, and the total for these games was $5. So, I only spent $15 at the sale for the Life Proof case, and then 5 bucks for the games. The first one is Splinter Cell. Uh, for the PS2, greatest hits. Uh, it is complete and in good condition. 
Uh, that's probably the, all the worst one of all the games. Um, Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legend, uh, which is pretty cool. It's very very good condition on this one as well. I don't have this one, so. And this was the steal of the of the day, not of the day, <laughs> of the morning. This this if I had only picked this up today, I would have been happy. This is a, a pretty rare Xbox game. Uh, it's the guy game. Uh, this is available on PS2 as well, but uh, the Xbox One apparently has underage nudity, and not that I'm into that kind of thing, but it's just kind of new for the cool for the rarity aspect of things. Uh, this game was actually pulled pulled from shells, so um, it's going for at least double or triple what the PS2 version is. So, uh, but pretty cool to find that. So five bucks for all those for those three games. Uh, that was pretty good. Next I was uh, riding around, by the way I did this all on my motorbike, I did not have the car today so I was riding around. Um, I put like my saddlebags on and everything like that so I looked pretty uh, pretty monster going down the road. Um, I did not find anything for a very long time, I went to maybe another like 10-15 sales, didn't find anything. Uh, so I was just, you know what, I'm, I just called it, I said I'm just going to go home. Um, and then on the way home I remembered, oh yeah there was someone putting up a sign in a for a, a a sale in a complex that was kind of back a little ways. It wasn't very well signed or advertised. So uh, when I went past the first time, they were just kind of moving a few things out. So I just decided I would swing by on my way back, and then I forgot about it. And then on the way back, I remembered, oh yeah, I need to go. I need to swing by there. And man, that was the score of the day. I mean, what you guys are about to see, I am. I haven't. This is my first year going out garage selling for video for video games. I have kind of looked at doing it in the past but never actually committed to doing it but this summer I'm committing to do it uh, for as much as I can um, so I swung down this sale I uh, didn't see anything for a little bit and then I, uh, I pulled in found the sale and uh, I saw these two games sitting on the on the table and it is uh, Skate 3 and Little Big Planet 2 and now the guy had these at $10 a piece which again is completely fair. That's what they go for. I couldn't I, I wasn't gonna get them for ten dollars ten dollars for both. So I just offered fifteen for both and he took it, so I was happy with that. Um actually just sold off my copy of Skate 3, so it's kinda cool to have it back. And I've been wanting a little big planet too for for a while anyway, so I was happy to pay fifteen for that. Um the woman that was there, um there was a a guy who sold me these games, but the woman who was also there said, Oh, there's a bunch more downstairs. I said, and I immediately just perked up. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, what else? What else do you have? And he says, Oh, I don't have anything else for PS3. I just have older stuff. I, you know, it's not nothing good. I was like, Oh well, you know, I collect kind of everything. Um, are you are you looking to sell it? And he said, Oh yeah, I just haven't gone down to get it yet. I'm going to bring it up in a little bit. And I said, oh, Okay. Uh, I said, Well, if you don't mind bringing it up, I'll I'll stick around and wait. It's not a big deal. He's like, Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so he went down. He he brought it up. He brought a, uh, a box up of stuff, and uh, I was just ecstatic. The stuff that I saw in there, I was I was happy with. Now, keep in mind, everything in this box is really dirty, uh, and I do need to go through and clean it. And I've kind of organized the cable, so it looks a little bit nicer than it did when I got it, but uh, pretty cool. Anyways, the first thing is going to be a uh, GameCube. And you can see that's a dirty, like that's pretty filthy, uh, with an off-brand memory card. But uh, whatever. That's one thing I've never found. You know what? I've never found an official memory card. I still don't actually have one. Um, but whatever. Uh, seems to work. I haven't powered any. I haven't tested any of the stuff. So I have no idea if it works. But um, it's pretty rare that these things don't work. And that comes with the uh, power cable and the AV cable. And then it also came with a black GameCube controller that's in, uh, yeah, it's a little rough, or mostly just dirty. Like I said, everything needs to be cleaned. Looks like he just kind of put it in his basement and just forgot about it for 10 years. Next, he got an N64. Uh, it's covered in stickers and it's absolutely filthy. Um, I need to go over this with a, with a lot of goo gone, a lot of alcohol. Um, it does come with the expansion pack, which is nice. Uh, it's not an, not an everyday thing. I know a lot of people pick up N64s that don't have it. Um, but cool, and um, yeah, again, don't know if it works, but uh, shouldn't be too hard to get working if it isn't. Uh, and that came with um, the power cable, but no AV cables, uh, unfortunately. 
Now it came with four four controllers. The first one's an off-brand, uh, the Rock 64-bit, uh, and he said this one works pretty pretty terribly. Uh, I think he said he spilled coke on it, so it may not work. I'm gonna pull it apart and see if I can salvage it. And uh, I don't need a system, so if I sell off the system, I'll at least have a controller to give with it uh, at minimum. Uh, then there's a uh, gray controller with a flower sticker on it. Um, and the stick on that one's pretty loose, so. Then there's a red controller that's in very nice condition. Everything looks nice. And the kicker, when I saw this, I knew it was worth it. It is the Grape N64 controller. Um, which is freaking sweet. Um, I don't really have a use for this, but even just selling this off is going to pay for the, what I paid for the entire lot. So, uh, that was pretty sweet. Uh, also in the grape controller was a N64, official N64 memory card. Came with some N64 games. Um, first one is Perfect Dark, which I already have, so it's a double for me. Hexen, uh, which I don't have, so that's nice. Uh, Turok 3, Shadow of Oblivion. Don't have that either. I have Turok 1 and 2, but I don't have this one. And Turok Wage... Ra I always want to say Wage Wars, but it's Rage Wars for the uh, Turok. Now, from what I know of this game, you can... This game is flawed. They ship this game with a glitch in it, so you can't actually beat this game. If you want, if you wanted to, you had to submit something to Nintendo, uh, submit your proof of purchase or something to Nintendo back when you bought the game, and then they'd ship you the gray cart version of this for free, and then that was the the edited version that removed the glitch, so you could actually beat the game. But I don't think you can actually beat this version of this game. So, um, from what I from what I know, it's either. This is the one you, you can't beat, or this is the one you can beat, and the other one you can't. But I'm pretty sure the gray one is the one you can you can beat, and this one you cannot. So, it just physically will not let you. Um, and of course I'm going to leave the, or the GameCube games to last just to... I don't know. Suspense? Yeah, we'll use that. Um, pretty sweet. I was really happy to get these games. I don't I don't find GameCube games out in the out in the wild, and to find five GameCube games that were all pretty much quality, uh, I was more than happy with. So uh, the first one is not an exclusive, but it's Enter the Matrix uh, for the GameCube. I actually used to have this game, and then I sold it away. So um, I'm thinking I'm going to keep it this time. So that's pretty sweet, and that's a double disc game. And all these games are complete and in really good condition, uh, disc wise. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, Player's Choice, uh, again complete in box. Metroid Prime, which is sweet. I already have this as well, so this is a double. I also have Luigi's Mansion, and that's a double. Uh, these two I don't have, and it is Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, which is sweet. I have been looking for this one, so that's sweet. And then the kicker of all is Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Um, yeah, I think this is the roughest of the discs, but it, it looks like it's going to still play, no problem. Um, so for that entire stack of stuff, uh, I asked him what he was looking for it. Uh, he didn't really know. It kind of went, you get that awkward, like, who wants to give a, a number first? And I basically said, uh, what are you looking for? It. I need, I kind of need something to gauge with to see where you're at before I give you an offer because I don't I don't want to stiff you. I don't want to, I don't want to lowball you too hard and then you're, you're going to, not want to sell it to me so uh, he kind of looked it over and he was like how about 50 bucks um, and I countered I said how about 40 and uh, I expected him to counter at 45 but he surprisingly said yeah that's fine so 40 bucks I paid for everything like that totally totally worth it it was a great experience uh, first day for, for game hunting garage selling um, so hopefully next week it will, the, my luck will continue probably won't but <laughs> I'm gonna keep my uh, my uh, my fingers crossed, and and maybe something will happen. So um, that's gonna do it for this week. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching the whole video, and I will see you guys next time.